Hello, everyone. Um, I do apologize for not uploading any videos in a while. Um, to be honest, I kind of went off it. I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. Um, and I started chatting to a few of you in the comments, and I thought, oh, can I give it another go? Um, I've always been meaning to go and make another video over the Christmas holidays, and I just never got round to it. And I thought, I'm not going to go and start something then, because I was waiting on some PC parts, which I've upgraded my PC now. Um, I got a new motherboard, I got an 8 core processor running at 4 gigahertz. Um, I had some extra RAM. At some point in the future, I want to try and get an SSD in there as well. Um, the graphics card I have. If you want some of the specs, it's, it's mainly just um, the Zotac um, G4, the Zotac GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Mini, which I think is a brilliant little card on a budget. I think it's the best budget card out there. My personal preference. Um, and then I got 12 gigabytes of RAM because I bought the wrong ones by accident. Um, plus I was struggling to afford for more. I was hoping to at least hit the target of 16 gigs of RAM. I got 12. Um, it's all by the same make. Um, it's, uh, I can't remember the make of it though. I can't think of it at the top of my head. Um, if, if I remember, which I might not, I'll probably slap it up on the screen. Um, and then it's for the processor, it's a um, AMD Black Edition 8 core, 4 gigahertz, which is pretty good for multitasking. That, that's that's why I've gotten the vibe about that the more cores, the better multitasking it has, the multitasking capabilities. And it tends to be better for um, rendering video and stuff like that, which is good for me. Because I was usually waiting donkey's years for a video to render. Um, <clears throat> but I thought I'd do a quick little video now. I don't want to ramble on. Um, you just... Uh, once you've installed the Sonic Screwdriver. And then you installed the TARDIS on its own. And then you can get the TARDIS rewrite. Those are the main things you want to go for. So you go with the Sonic Screwdriver. And you can choose which one you want to have. Once you've got it installed. You can... Hold down the Q key to bring up the menu. Go to options. Sound screwdriver. And choose whichever one you like out the list that you could possibly want. I'm going to go with the... Hmm, let's go... 12th. Yeah, 12th one. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do a bit of a restart. I want to get... Oop. Hey, that's the one I want. Um, anyway, <clears throat> we'll have a quick look at this one. I don't want to spend too long over it. Um, I think it looks good. It's a, this was the first TARDIS mod that I think that came out for Gary's mod. I haven't. Um, I just want to say now that none of the stuff you've seen, the Sonic screwdrivers, the TARDIS, is anything. I I haven't made it. I haven't made any of it. All I'm doing is just showing it off. And hopefully get more people to see it. More people to back it, download it, try it, use it, play it. Because it's these mods are fantastic. And it's it'd be a shame to see them go to waste and not for people to know about it and for it not to be used. The chances are a lot of you know about it because this one has at least been out for quite a while. I think the Sonic Screwdriver has in it. I think this TARDIS and the Sonic Screwdriver were the first two things that were out for Doctor Who stuff on here, I think. And then the TARDIS rewrite which happened last year. About midway through last year, I think. Something like that. It was in progress. It was still in development, I think, at that point. I think. I'm not too sure my facts and figures and stuff. I just care about playing it and using it because I think it's absolutely awesome. 
But um, you can come over here and you can set in coordinates of your own. Um, you can get the position. You can then um, save it. Have it on as a list here. I'm going to upload the coordinates now. Um, you can go around and press buttons if you wanted to, but um, what I'll do is I'll change into the camera. Nope, not that one. You got the hads. You got the hostile action displacement system. Um, if a TARDIS takes damage and you need to repair it, you knock off the when it wants to do it. Knock off the power. And then you would come out here, hit the self appear, leave a TARDIS, and each time you try to enter it, it'll tell you on the bottom left hand corner of the screen how long's left till it's fully repaired. Um, once you get to 20% health, the cloister bells will activate. You'll have smoke from the TARDIS. Once you hit zero, the TARDIS will blow up and it pretty much becomes unusable. You just start rattling around in the ball of flames like Matt Smith did. Um, for his intro as of being a doctor on his first episode. But now we set the coordinates. We can either do a thing now where I can just hit the coordinates, press that, and it'll take off and instantly go and land there, but I think it's a bit boring. Um I'll show you this because I don't know the name of these. Dematerialization circuit, you want to hit that. And then the long flight toggle. So then you can just hit it and it'll dematerialize. Unfortunately, these don't go off anyway. Bit of a disappointment, but this tends to be the better one. The, the, uh, this is why I'm showing you the, this one first, because graphically is not as good as. Well, graphically is nowhere near as good as the other one I'm going to show you, the rewrite. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, bit of a sneezing fit. I don't know why it just happens now again. Um, Anyway, where was I? Yeah, um, it's not as graphically good, this one. It tends to be, if you haven't got a very good computer where you want to fly around time and space in the TARDIS, um, get this one. Because the texture's not great. It's, it's good. It's decent. I'll go as far as that. Um, it doesn't go off anyway. It's trying to keep it as small, compact, and as low quality, well, as decent quality as possible while still ma maintaining a high FPS in here. When I played on my laptop, my laptop struggled. It, it was quite old though, it was quite a few years old. But that was bumped up a bit with RAM and stuff like that. I think it was the gra built-in graphics card on it wasn't that good, to be honest. Um, but this is a pretty good one. See, I was still flying. It's pretty much flying for the Vortex at the moment. Just try and ignore that. We are flying for the Vortex, that's wrong. Tidus is lying to us. Um, and then when you're ready to land, you just hit that. All these buttons and things, you can change the direction of them. Change the direction of them. That's the phase lock. Oh, and now the two black levers. Oh, it's this finish. As everybody loves the Tardis sound. Um, yeah, this one is the phase lock or something like I think it was called um, turns the TARDIS invisible and that which I can show you from the outside uh, see from the screen that we have changed it's not just there for to look pretty it does work um, tell you what I could do I could see if it makes a sound effect when it's done I'll take it down to like 95% quick power it off self repair all occupants must exit yeah that's what you do when it's finished as you know it's done and then with the sonic you can lock it should be able to Oop, come on keyboard stop bugging out you should be able to Hmm. Doesn't want to work for me. Yeah, usually though it would, um, it's just this time it doesn't want to work. All the other times it has. The one time you want it to work and it doesn't. But uh, when you left click and hold, 
left click and hold it for a few seconds it'll lock it right click and hold it for a few seconds it'll phase it out supposed to um so it's invisible um that's the standard one um the one i like ow is the tardis rewrite and as we got the 12th doctor sonic i think we'll jump into yeah it's set to that the 12th doctor's tardis yeah, you want to go into, um, that's the sign screwdrivers. Yeah, you want to go into the TARDIS, rewrite. You can change bits of the TARDIS so you can see. Um, one thing you would want to turn on if you don't know what the buttons do and you're getting used to it. Um, control tools help, I think it is. That's for... Do, 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 do. Control sounds. Yeah, I think it's the control tool tips. Is what tells you it brings up the um, text box with uh, what it does. Um, oh, you can change the colour of the lamp. I didn't know that. Just one of them things you miss. You can change the skin. You, there's a couple there. But we'll look at this one. I want to try and keep the video deep, pretty much short as possible. So I can get something out for you to all watch. Without trying to miss everything. Once you, um, while you're holding down Q to um, bring us up, you go in TARDIS UI, open TARDIS interface, you don't have to hold Q anymore, you let go of it. Um, go to interiors, we'll go to Capaldi, as that's the one we want. You can change all the options in here if um, I don't want to spoil anything with this, so I'll explain the options after because I'll end up spoiling something otherwise. It's got some really nice and cool features, which this one doesn't have. When it wants to load in. Some point today. Any point today, game. All it's trying to do now, because it's such high quality, it's trying to load it all in. So there we are, look. Let's open up the doors. Yeah, we're with the other one. You could lock it with left click. You open up the door with left click. And then it's the right click to lock it. That's what I should have done with the other TARDIS. Has done it. Um, if you hold down, it only works with the left alt key. If you hold down left alt and then hold down the right click, it'll link it. Then what you can do, which we'll use in a sec. We'll go into this little room where you... Um, without holding alt, now you just left click, set the destination, and we'll show you the inside. To be honest, I think it looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> the only thing is, with Capaldi's TARDIS, he hasn't finished. I think a lot of this, yeah, still work in progress. So a lot of this stuff doesn't move. These do. I thought that one was supposed to do something. Seems not. These, oop. I thought these were supposed to move. Yeah, they do. You'll hit them at the back. So I've locked the TARDIS of that one. So these bits do work. You pretty much got to be spot on with them. They don't. This one opens up the door, I think. Yeah. Kick somebody out your TARDIS, and without even going to the door, you just shut the door on them. Um. <clears throat> I wish it didn't do that. I wish it didn't. I wish you could turn this off. Because I don't want to use that lever for... Because what it's done is it's engaged it. Well, you can do it from the outside. If I knock it off. When it click on any part of the console that doesn't have any buttons on it or stuff that doesn't work it'll bring you to the screen so you see this you can then press R which will engage the TARDIS flight thing where you can fly it around yourself and do whatever the hell it is that you would like to do <coughs> I wish it didn't do it I wish it just turned and these lit up as you turned it up 
and it just did that. So all it did was just light up. It didn't do that. I wish it would set that kind of thing to one of these other bits, one of the other levers. Because I, I like the idea of doing it how it was meant to be from the program, where you would flip that up and then pull that. For that to happen. So what's happening now is, uh, flying through time and space. Don't picture that, that's supposed to be a load of Gallifrey in text. Um, I just admire everything, all the lights, the movements, and... <coughs> this keyboard keeps bugging out, and I don't know why. Let's see if that's a bit better now. Let's see if it stops doing it. Is this door open? Some of the stuff, some doors open. Some doors open, some will close. You can jump around here and do whatever the hell you want to do. Um, you can... I think there's one that opens. Always, it might be because this one's still being made. You haven't finished it. But it's modeled very accurately. And considering it's not finished, I think it looks amazing. You can't use this set. This is some issue you'll be able to use at some point. But we're trying one of the cool features you'll see. Some computers might not handle this, so don't do it unless you're pretty certain your computer can handle it, because you might drop a ton of frames. Go to any part of the console while you were traveling through time and space in the vortex. Um, go to any part of the console that doesn't have a button. Press E. If you want to work. Work. Yeah. And you can either let it still, or you can... Spin it round and have it fly around. I wish the light would go on the top as well. Make it a little bit more cool. But, um... We'll land. No, land. It might be just glitching a little bit because I am recording at the same time. It's not doing too bad. It's a lot better recording stuff than what I thought it would be. I think it all looks cool, but set out. Yeah, um, as I was going to say that, I didn't want to spoil it. If you go into the interface, settings, options, flight, you can um, turn the sounds on and off, um, portals, um, where was it? Teleport, vortex, you can turn the vortex on and off, sounds. It's, it's in case your computer can't run it, you can turn stuff off. All the kind of bells and whistles and turn off to make it run a bit better if you need to be. Um, what we will do is, I'll show you one that is finished. These are the amount that are here, plus there's a second page of a couple there. You've got the junk one from when um, the Doctor and... Um, I've forgotten the name now of the human, but when the TARDIS was put into the human's body and they had to make a TARDIS out of junk... That's what that one is. The Hellbent TARDIS and all these lot. What we'll do is um, I'll show off these two. I'll show off 2010, 2005's TARDIS. Let's change that. One thing you've got to do is I don't think... No, you can't. You can't. You can't change it like that and go in the same TARDIS. You've got to delete it. Or you could keep it if you want. And then... Put another one down, and you've got the new word lock. And I think that looks absolutely amazing. A lot better than the one I shown you earlier, wouldn't it? Look, the round things. I love the round things. But I absolutely love it. There's so much stuff you can just go and press and flip. I know I'm using the wrong Sonic, but this should work. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because this one's, I think, totally finished now. Um, you can run up and have a look around. Kind of have a gulp around in some empty rooms and things that way. Yeah, whenever I look back at the TARDIS, the frames just drop because it's loading it back into the frame. Stop dropping frames. Um, we'll go and land it now. I thought I'd just quickly show you what they like. See what I will do. Yeah, you got um, Matt Smith's thing. You might have just caught a glimpse of then. It changes depending on which one you're in. Delete that. One thing I was going to show you with the normal TARDIS when you download it, you could down. You have to download it separately. There's the normal Sonic. You can get the laser one if you want. Get the Sonic, normal TARDIS, and the TARDIS rewrite. In the no normal one, one thing I forgot, unless I put it in, then I'll cut this back out. Um, you've got all the songs and themes and things on there you can go and play. And you can enter your own ones. I thought I'd just let you all know because I forgot about it. Uh, let's go into that. Settings, interior, town. Uh, 2005, so this is Tenants TARDIS. I think it looks amazing. Whoa! That was a hell of a bug then. I love the sound of the creaks and the hums. And As we all know from the doctor, um, the handbrake's automatically on because he leaves the handbrake on. It didn't make a noise. What noise? Yeah, the. It's not supposed to make that noise. You leave the brakes on. Yeah, well, it's a brilliant noise. I love that noise. Just run around hitting buttons and things. Make it look like you know what you're doing. You can have a sit and heat these as well. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. If you want to have a look on the display, you can. And Just about hear the sound effects in the background of the TARDIS. But as you're flying, we could go up here and you got Tenant's intro. You spin it round and make it look like you're travelling through time and space. I'm a kid, I am. <laughs> More like nine year olds when we we'll watch this. I think it's cool. I I love stuff like this. I wish they made a proper game where you could actually sit there and pilot the TARDIS. Something that was really high quality. And this is as close as you're going to get. The Doctor Who Venture game is good. For that level where you have to fly the TARDIS. But all you do is take off. That's it. That's all you're allowed to do. You can sit there, turn around and press buttons and things. But nothing works. It just does the sound effects and things. And lights come up and all what it's supposed to do. Land. Can we go? Oh, you can. Remember, we have uh, Rose's mum sat up on here on the side. That looks awesome. I think, tell you what, for the retro fans, we've been watching it for years. We'll go right back to that one. And we'll chuck that in. I'll do this as the last one. When my computer decides to go and load it in. Any point today. Any point today. Any point today. 
Well, hey, there we are. It is, it's definitely taller. Into the other rooms and things, and buttons and sit down and whatever the hell you want to do. Got the screen up there. I think it looks amazing. They haven't. They've designed it as though it's the actual set they got. Got all the lights on the corners, like it's designed to look like the actual set from what you would what it was actually like. I never realised it done that till then. Yeah, take off. Doctor. You got the old style thing as well, just in case you're wondering. What I will show you, um, actually no, I did, didn't I? That bit. Um, so I think of what else I can show you. When you fly through things as quickly, it's good. Uh, some of the stuff you can just download and play yourself. So let's do it the proper way. Where's the button? Where's the goddamn button? There it is. That is awesome! The proper locking mechanism sounding. Right, um, what I will do is, as you can see the TARDIS is gone, and you probably see by the bottom left corner of the screen. Oh my god, it's a freaky doll, and I'm stuck in a room. Wait a minute, if I hit R... Get in quick. Oh. Let's get away from here. on TV. Hey. Where is it? Martian TV? Hug the time router. 
Yeah, um, also, um, if I didn't manage at the start of the video, which I might have, which I might end up removing if I already have. I'm that tired, I can't remember what I have said and what I haven't, to be honest. Um, as well as having new PC parts for Christmas and things, uh, also what turned up today is my, um, BM700 con a microphone, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, picked it up on Amazon. Was it a 30 quid? Something like that. 20, 25, 30 quid. 25 99 I think it was. Something like that. It was on sale. It's quite cheap anyway, but it was on sale as well. I thought stuff, I love it. Because you get the, um... Oh, what was it? What do you call it? That, um... Oh, God! My head's not working. I'm literally that shattered from the stuff I've done today. Running around after people. I, I've done tons of bloody driving today. Um, I've got what you call it. Um, is it a pop filter? I think it is, or something like that. Um, you have that, um, you've got like the um, rubbery ball thing, whatever it's called, that goes on the mic as well. Um, you've got the metal vibration, I think it was something to do with like um, a vibration thing that stops it from um, vibrating the mic and creating noises to try and keep it still as possible. You've got the clamp with the arm and everything for your table and it's totally adjustable. You get all out the cables and everything for what on sale at the moment for like twenty five ninety nine. Um twenty five pound and ninety nine P. I think that's a pretty good deal. Oh, it's still in here. But um one thing I can't fix at the moment, I don't know if you lot will be able to tell me. But have a look what happens when I spawn in a Dalek now. So you can download Daleks as well. Do you mean tell me what happens when I bring us in? What what happens? Wait, where's he going? I know this must be skin of the doctor, but But um anyway, if you let me know what's happening with that, that'd be great. But if anyone could let me know why that happens to the Daleks whenever I spawn them in, it'd be great. Um <coughs> Apart from that, I don't think there's anything else from these mods that I could show off. Um, I just hope my team is playing, apparently. If you want me to show you more, like, I got tons of the Star Wars stuff. Um, if you want, I could do a video where it'd be quite lengthy, where I could do a quick run-through of everything. I've got from NPCs to the entities, the weapons, vehicles. I do whatever. If you're interested in seeing that, then hit the like and uh, let me know. Flatty wood. <laughs> I only just realised that. I've used this map so many times as well. Oop. Okay, let's... Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I'll end the video for here um i can't think of anything else to go and show off but yeah if you want to see what um stuff i just mentioned and about um doing a run through of all the mods and things i have hit the like and drop a comment um if you enjoyed this video it's gonna take me a lot of editing because i've had a couple of interruptions and stuff like that the quicker i can get it edited and uploaded the better um yeah, but if you enjoyed, then hit the like. Um, if there's anything you enjoyed or want to see more of, then drop a comment. Um, it'd be helpful if you could share it around, tell your friends, share it on Facebook, whatever, to try and help me grow the channel. And um, most of all, um, it'd be absolutely lovely if you could smack that subscribe button. Um, 
up until the next video, which is whenever, really. Um, I'll see if I can try and get another one out this week. It'd be quite interesting for me to do. I'm, if I don't hear anything in the comments before I do the next video, I think I might do something World of Tanks based. Maybe truck simulation or... I don't know. I kind of see what kind of game I'm feeling like I want to try and show off or think of some stuff I could do with. But apart from that, I'll see you all in the next one anyway. Goodbye, everyone.